Hey guys, Huds here, bringing you another video. Welcome back to, well, actually something a bit different. Uh, this isn't Climb to Master, and it's technically not Off Roll to Diamond. I'm in a flex game, <clears throat> basically to warm up. So I am wanting to try and climb seriously now. I'm not going to give away what rating I am in solo queue, but I am higher rating than you guys, well, I have been recently. So I am climbing, and uh, what happened? What just happened? I'll check what that was in a second. Thanks. Uh, was that a donation? What just happened? What the? What? <laughs> oh my god. Dad's Bane coming in with a $250 donation. Smile for me, Huzzy. You're such a wonderful person. Deserve everything. Can we get another Kaiser game on off roll? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. What the hell? Jesus. Thanks very much, man. Again, ne you never need to do that. But thank you very much. Wow. Blah. I don't know what to say now. Yeah, we'll play a Kaiser game though. No worries. Uh, but as I was saying, um, we are playing in flex queue to warm up. I am climbing again. And uh, I did a poll, a very quick poll on Twitter. And I asked, would people want me to focus? What, wait, what, do, what do people want me to focus on, basically? Um, that's not bad. Uh, do they want me to focus on my main account, or do what they want me still to do off roll to diamond? And uh, the vast majority was like, just do two episodes of Climb to Master a day. And I know this isn't Climb to Master, but it's on the main account and I'm warming up, so. Sorry, my mind has just gone to jelly. Again, some people are, being, are very generous in the community. Again, I never, ever, ever expect big donations like that, so. Thank you. This is a fiesta. What is going on? Again, we're in flex queue, so this is lower rating, by the way. Like, the Twisted Fate I'm against is Platinum 5. Um, so it is lower rated than I'm obviously used to. But Platinum 5 in solo queue is still not bad. Again, flex queue obviously is a bit of a joke. But, yeah. Uh, so again, top lane we've got the Hushinshin special in top. So hopefully he doesn't go 0-19. Um, again, I don't even think bronze players can go 0-19 if they know what they're doing. Um, but yeah... Yeah, like the people are just talking about the donations at the moment. The biggest donation we've ever had was nineteen hundred dollars um, by a guy called PVP Wrecker, um, which was again crazy. Um, but again, my platform for doing content creation, I never want to like rely on donations. There are some streamers out there when they're doing, you know, their content and they're like their their rent and bills they actually rely on donations and stuff i i'd never want to be in the position that i've got to rely on them for me like the way that i think like that 250 fifty dollar donation that dad's bane has given very incredibly generous um i will in my head now i've gone and gone okay there's that's my red dead redemption collector's edition you know that's the way that i think um sometimes it's like there you go Oh, nice, Victor. And probably a couple loot videos when a new loot event comes out, too. Alright, so we're double farm of this TF. Uh, as soon as we get level 6, I want to go for him again. We've gone Glacial Augment. Uh, which, for Ari, is mainly using her auto attacks. Because uh, a lot of people don't realise the Glacial Augment goes off your auto attacks, too. Mm. 
<laughs> I just helped him out. Ooh. Yeah, people have asked me, like, um, do I think the Shinshin, the ban was worth it, the 14? Uh, yeah. Like, what if you haven't watched the, the death highlights of, like, how where, each time he died, it's clear that he's not fully paying attention. Oh, I mucked that up. Um, like, he is what you'd call soft inting, which is still inting. Um, he's basically not trying to actually play the game and walking into melee range as a range champion. As a master tier player, to me, there's no excuse for that. Again, it's where you've got to judge the different ratings differently. You can't judge a master player the same as a bronze player because they're going to be completely different. Um, so you've got to like judge like inting and feeding and stuff like that completely different the rating you're in. So for a master player, that was inting. Uh, he didn't uh, try to adjust his playstyle by stop fighting. He just only fought, even though there was zero chance of doing anything. And he, and he knew, as a master player, he knew there was zero chance to make a comeback in that lane. He just had to stay and farm and be safe under tower, which he didn't do. Wait, he's in Diamond 3 at the moment. Yeah, well, again, he's the guy that tilts the most. So he's been master, but he also obviously tilts down to lower rated, where me as a pleb lurks. That's not good from Ivan. Yeah, Victor's there, which isn't bad. Not bad, not bad at all, baby. So yeah, I don't play Ari, but she is good in her own way. Like obviously she's like a ranged assassin, um, and the best way to play her is playmaking. If you're a very passive Ari, there's literally no point to play the champ. To make it work to the fullest extent, you have to be aggressive. That Lux. Again, we are lower rated than normal, um, obviously. So we are gonna see some interesting play, probably. I can kill him. Don't hit him. Oh, yikes. How did I miss? Again, I'm not an Ari player, so... I think it's first game of the day. That's why I'm warming up. Because if this was a solo queue, uh, and I miss that type of thing, well, that could be the difference between, like, dying and losing the game and stuff in... The higher echelons of diamond. Because again, my main account now has got diamond 2 MMR. So that's where the game... And I've always said, you guys have heard me quote that. Like diamond 3 and diamond 2, mainly more diamond 2 is where the game actually starts to get serious. Because because of the lack of players, when you get to diamond 2, you start getting matched with master players the moment that you get into diamond 2. So happy fun times, right? Mm. Um, what do I max second? W. Okay. But I will say, if you guys right now, again, I'm not an up for, so just take this as the way that it is. I'm not a solo, I'm not a Ari player, and I'm absolutely wrecking this game, and this is in Platinum MMR and Flex Q, and I'm wrecking. This is what next season's roll ranked, if it does happen, is going to be. People, like, a, a, someone who's good at a role is going to be good in most roles. And because their rating is going to be abundantly, like, lower on a different role, it's just going to be stomps all the time. From people in higher ratings on one role going down to a different role, it's just going to be stomp after stomp after stomp. He did not need to flash that. I guess he didn't know I didn't have ult, and that's why he flashed. I want a ward here. Oh, wait, there's a blue. Did he ping that blue for me? No. I guess I just should have known. Oh, nice. Oh, the blue ran out. <laughs> the blue ran out. If I hit masters, how would I feel emotionally? It's hard to say. Uh, it would be nice. It would be nice because, again, 
A lot of people always use it as an insult going hard stack diamond. Again, to me, that's never going to be an insult just because, like, diamond is still an insanely good rank. Um, so I never get insulted when people say, oh, hard stack diamond because, yay, I'm hard stuck in the top 0.2% of the game. Whoa, I'm really annoyed. But it would be nice to be above a rank that I've been for, like, five years. Like, I've been diamond for five years. Just to be something other than diamond? Yeah, that would be really nice. I'm not going to obviously hide that. This game is turning into a bit of a stump. I do feel sorry for the Twisted Fate. Again, he's a plat 5 player, so there's uh, quite a bit of difference. I don't... I'll actually check it. Is he a Twisted Fate player? He is... Kinda. He's got a negative win rate on his Twisted Fate, so he probably just shouldn't play Twisted Fate. But this is a good way to start the recording session. After this, we'll be going into solo queue. Uh, what champ do I recommend that's viable, easy to climb with a low ELO? I, my biggest recommendation is never ask that question and don't listen to people that give you answers. Um, because the biggest advice I ever can give is just play what you're good at and that's it. That's, the, that's the, the magic trick to solo queue is ignore everything and just play what you're good at. And anybody that keeps like telling you play this champion, play that champion, just ignore it. It, it won't help you that much because you could be bad at those champs. It's that simple. Damn Lux is top lane. I played that pretty bad. I think I could have killed Shen if I played it cleaner. Mm, that's why you recommend easy to play snowball champs? No, I don't. That's literally opposite of what I just said. The vast majority of people that I will say attempt to say play like I do, change a champion tool pull too often and are still in bronze, will just stay bronze for years. Like, I'm a bad example when it comes to solo queue. I've always said this. I, I jump around on champions a lot because I'm a YouTuber and I want it to be a lot of different content. Don't do that if you want to climb. Find your champions you're good at, kind of stick with them for a while. Again, don't be a one trick, but, you know... Play a bunch of stuff and just stick with that stuff. So I'm saying that's why you should recommend. No, again, that's completely against what I literally just said. Someone is not listening in today's stream. <laughs> my whole, my, like, <clears throat> very clearly, I don't recommend any champions to climb. Full stop. End of. Finito. Now, there's no point recommending a champion and if, if like, you're just bad at the champion... Everybody will have a champion that they always click with a little bit more than other champions. That's the thing you play to climb. That. Done. Finish. Hmm. Didn't expect him to E forward like that, but he went really aggro. <sighs> like, here's the thing. There are champions that I wouldn't recommend because of just play style. 
But if you're good at them, play them. Like, if you're, if you're getting success... And when I say if you're good at them, KDA means nothing with climbing. If your win rate is really good, play it. Do it. If you're enjoying a champion, your KDA is great, but your, your win rate sucks, it clearly is not working to climb. Because, again, KDA doesn't equal climbing. So... Just be smart about it. It's pretty much that simple. Like, I think everybody could, like... Like, there are some different opinions out there. Like, some people are like, oh, everybody could get diamond. I don't think so. But I think everybody could get gold if they just play smart. And they act smart. I do believe everybody can get gold. Alright, we've got our core for Glacial Augment. Again, I kind of feel sorry for this Twisted Fate. We're double his farm and he's 0 6, but. He kind of did it to himself. Don't know why that Jax did that. They are really not respecting my damage, huh? They probably should. And they backed off. Damn. Again, the biggest reason why this Twisted Fates died a lot is because he hasn't respected, like, the range of my charm. Or, like, not even... I don't think he's thinking about my charm. Gotta think about it. <laughs> and again, another advice is don't trust random people. If someone in Twitch chat is offering you, again, no offense, but don't take random people's advice. If you want to take other players' advice, that's fine, but take it from a trusted source, not just somebody from Twitch chat. Because they, you know, you don't know what their credentials are. And even if they go, oh, I'm Challenger, people lie all the time. Again, be smart about it. I'm a coming. Do you think there's flash? Yep. So I'm saying, why can't everybody get diamond? Because it's basically impossible. Again, diamond's the only... Like, in most regions, diamond is only the top 2% of the server. So, just statistically, not everybody can get diamond. Um, but just based on, like... Oh, they surrendered. Um, this would be a good second video of the day, anyway. Nice and quick. Good play. Um... So yeah, like not 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 everybody can get diamond. There's no way. Like the average player, again, like I said, I think most people could probably get gold, but that's about it. Um, also, let's go on this window because we don't have. This is a flex game. Who am I going to give it to? I don't really care. Um, well done. Do I think people who are in plat can get diamond? Or uh, if you're platinum, you're nearing it. So you know. Like, I'm just saying every player. Like, there are some people that think uh, that every player in League, no matter how good their natural skill is, they could get Diamond. No. Again, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news and, like, make people bummed out about it, but no. Alright, so, again, this was a flex warm-up game, so just doing this before solo queue and also to fulfill a donation that somebody did for uh, Glacial Augment RE. Hopefully, if uh, Beatrice is still here. Hopefully this fulfilled that for you. Uh, we went 14, 1, 4, 120 for farm. Got an S plus, plus 22. Again, it's, it's flex, so I don't really care. And then damage-wise, didn't even do the most damage. Victor did. And again, that damage that Victor did, I can guarantee the most of that would have just been poking a Shen down in lane. So it's still good damage, but, you know, a lot of my damage would have been actually from killing champions, where a lot of Victor's damage would have been from poking champions. So there's a little bit of a difference, but not too much. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this second video of the day. Obviously something a bit random, just warming up in flex queue. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy, throw a like on it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. See you.